Have you ever dreamed of moving to Costa Rica, but you fear the unknown? I'm Rebecca Clower, owner of Blue Water Properties in Costa Rica, one of the top real estate and investment agencies in the country. I'm a dual citizen of Costa Rica and the USA, and I'm also a mom to two children. And like you, I had many questions about moving to Costa Rica and life in the tropics. This series is geared towards educating you on the ins and outs of Costa Rica living and what you should know before taking the plunge. Hi everybody, welcome to my house. I'm Rebecca Clower and welcome to another tips video. We're here finally, finally with the last chapter of Casa Last Stop, which is now named Casa Isla Vista because we have a beautiful view of Isla Lora. So we changed the name because it's much prettier than Casa Last Stop, but the whole point of Casa Last Stop is that we will plant roots here and stay put. So I'm excited because it's been a long time coming. It took 17 months. Uh, we are finishing little minor details, but we are in. We, we are in and we got in just in time for Christmas, so we're super stoked about that. So welcome to Casa Isla Vista. We're gonna go through and talk about all of the different companies that made this possible, the different kinds of finish work that we used and the why behind it. So if you recall, if you've been watching the other episodes, this property is a steel frame property, uh, light gauge steel frame. And so we did, as you can see, dual elevation here basically. So we have very high ceilings. I believe they're about 18 feet um, at one point and it slopes up. So it's a little bit higher on the other side. And we did some beautiful windows up at the top to let in the light. Um, we chose to do motorized roller shades in here just because of the size of the windows. Much easier to just click a button. I've never had motorized shades, so this is pretty exciting. So check this out. I know it's exciting. Isn't that fancy? I'm excited because these are all new things for me. So. It really is fancy. <laughs> so that's really nice too, but we only did this in the main living area in the kitchen, just so you know. So we're gonna talk about the different finish work in the house so you can get an idea of what we did and why we did it. So we did use PVC windows throughout the entire property. These are really great. They have that faux wood finish, so it kind of gives it, you know, the look that we're trying to go for, which is more Costa Rican woods and whatnot. The soffit area is teak, which obviously is sourced here locally in Costa Rica as well. We used Coralina tile, which is a natural stone, basically in the outdoor area all around the pool and the jacuzzi area. So the entire terrace is Coralina, which is really nice because when it gets hot out, it stays cool, which I think is super important. Out here we have an outdoor kitchen. Uh, we have a barbecue grill, excuse the pool toys. <laughs> A nice bar area here. This opens up to the kitchen, which I think was a nice feature. And of course we used Sanchez stone, which looks like a volcanic rock. And we use that more so as an accent piece because keep in mind it does heat up if it has direct sunlight. So we did install these really nice big sunshades and that helps so much with the afternoon sun because we do face pretty much due west and around three o'clock in the afternoon. If you don't have sunshades or blackout curtains, you kind of get blown out of your house a little bit and it gets hot. So that's why we installed those. Uh, we have a jacuzzi that we kind of added last minute. The jacuzzi is a heated jacuzzi and we opted to go with a propane heater. We do have solar panels on the house. We actually have 56 solar panels, which in turn uh, are feeding both homes, both our main house and the guest home that we rent out. And there's also backup batteries for both homes. But we opted to go for a propane heater for the jacuzzi only because it heats up really quick. And we were told basically that the solar heaters aren't that effective for large quantities of water that we would need here. The nice thing about the propane is we don't use the jacuzzi all the time, but when we do, we just basically turn it on half an hour before we want it heated and within 30 minutes, it's totally heated and ready to go. So it's very efficient. So I absolutely love the pool. It's an infinity edge pool. We used an Indonesian tile. It's another finish work that we've never used before. It is also a natural stone. Um, it's a beautiful color. It's almost a green. 
but no two tiles are the same. So when the sun is shining and at night, it kind of changes color and it's iridescent. It's really beautiful. Um, as you can see, we have an infinity edge. This is actually a saltwater pool. We opted to go with saltwater. And we have obviously this area over here with the carport as well. So we opted to do uh, a carport as opposed to a closed in garage to not lose the views. And on the side, we put in a bodega or a storage area where we have plenty of room for bikes and surfboards and leftover materials and whatever you can get in there. The roofing material for the carport is called polyacryl in Spanish. It's basically a polyacrylic carbonate uh, material where the light still shines through, but it very much deflects the sunlight so that it keeps cooler underneath where your car is parked. We have this beautiful outdoor shower, which is strategically placed here before you get to the pool so that hopefully people, friends, and my children will wash their feet off, get all the sand off, and it's good for giving your dogs a bath. And then you can head over to the pool free of sand, etc. All of the bedrooms, just so you know, are staggered. So this floor plan, with the exception of my office, every single bedroom has a full ocean view with no obstruction. So that's a really great floor plan and one that we had initially used here in Costa Rica. Um, we did add a fourth bedroom to the main house as well as what I call the Xbox room. Those two rooms do not have view, but all of the other main bedrooms do. So I really love this half bath. This half bath is also accessed from the outside. So if you're at the pool, you can come directly into the bathroom and you don't have to go through the house. Um, we used a lot of cool finishes in this bathroom, including the light fixtures. We have a teak vanity, which was made by our carpenter. The sink is a petrified wood sink. And the uh, faucets were ordered online, but those obviously coming out of the wall are a little bit different. And we were opting to do obviously something very different here in the half bath. We're here in the, the main living area, which I love. So I've never in my life used wallpaper. This is wallpaper. It reminded me of grandma's house, but everybody told me it's back in. So I said, why not? So we ended up doing wallpaper in the main living area as an accent wall, and we also used it in the Xbox room. Um, the furniture, half of the furniture we ordered in the States, I actually went to a furniture convention and got half the furniture. Some of it was made. So basically everything here, was ordered from North Carolina. My absolute favorite piece in this house is this dining room table. I had actually seen this very table on Pinterest, took a photo, sent it to my carpenter, and I said, can you do this? And he kind of looked at me and said, well, you know, we need an entire trunk. And I said, yeah. And he says, okay. So they basically went on a wild goose chase looking for the Wanacoste tree were able to get it. They had to go and get it with six guys, a flatbed, a backhoe. It was nothing short of a miracle to get this done just because of the weight. So if you can imagine, it took six guys to get this table in here. So it's definitely gonna be staying there. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> so we're here in the kitchen area. As you can tell, we opted to do a great room plan. So we made sure to keep the ceilings really high. We did Venetian, plaster pretty much throughout the entire house with the exception of the boys' rooms and the office. So we went for that look. Uh, we also put Venetian plaster on the ceilings, which we really love. And in this kitchen, we decided to keep the great room plan. I just really prefer it. So here in the kitchen, we opted to do a PVC cabinet. So all of these cabinets are PVC. They are not wood. Um, this is our first time having, no, sorry, second time having PVC cabinetry because we also have it in the guest house. And what I like about this is that, you know, you can have all of these different things built in. Um, it's very good for having in these tropical climates because wood, as you probably know, tends to warp. This is really great too. So we did some additions of different drawers for pots and pans, for the spices, et cetera, et cetera. This is my little spice area. We did a built-in oven, a wall oven, built-in stove, extractor. The backsplash uh, was sourced locally. We did it in a herringbone pattern, and I love it. I think it's just a really great detail. Backsplash really changes the look of a kitchen. 
It just changes the look of the kitchen completely. It gives it an extra something. That's why we did these teak shelves as well. We wanted to do the floating shelves because it breaks up the monotony of having everything blue or one color. So this for me gave it a completely different look. In Costa Rica, it's kind of hard to get artwork as well, just so you know. So I basically had several different ways of sourcing the artwork that we have in the house. We have four pieces that were locally uh, created by Malu Moreira, who is an amazing, talented Brazilian artist who lives nearby in Playa Conchal. And she was able to make some custom artwork for the main living area, the master bedroom, as well as an area in our hallway the detached apartment. And so I love how it all came out. Uh, we also had some local artwork uh, in prints framed as well. I'm a big fan of Ola Lola, uh, which is uh, Patrici, Patricia sorry, Aguirre. And she's a great artist from San Jose and she has a shop there and you can order stuff online. And she shipped them to my house and I sent them to get framed and we'll show you some of her artwork here shortly. This main door was also made by my carpenter who also made this piece here at the front door, a little hutch with storage, as well as the dining room table. So this is a teak door. I wanted to have it on a pivot, which is a little bit more difficult. And then we put the window panels as accent to let a natural light around. So this is a very heavy door. Um, I ordered the, uh, the hardware here on Amazon because I really had a harder time finding exactly what I wanted. So I just bought it online and it got here 12 days later, no big deal and also the lock system, which Eufy is not available here, but I got it on Amazon and shipped it. Here's a little disclaimer. It's always good to have a backup. <laughs> I have a backup just in case, in case the battery goes, in case it dies because you don't have a replacement. So if this goes and you don't have a replacement, you're either gonna have to wait another couple weeks to get a new one, or you're gonna have to replace it with a different type of lock. I really, really love this door. This door is amazing. So this is not so exciting, but this is the electrical slash mechanical solar panel room. It's actually pretty intricate, has the backup batteries and basically both inverters for all the solar panels that are feeding both homes. So that's what's back here. And just so you know, our solar panels have been great. I mean, we are, our bills never go over 150 to $180 a month for both homes with our solar panels. And I think that's great because we're talking about you know, a total of nine bedrooms, two pools, et cetera. So I think it's a really great savings. So this is the wing, the, uh, the south wing, or the north wing, excuse me. So this is the boys' wing. So my sons are over here at their Xbox room. So we have a little hallway that connects both of the bedrooms and the Xbox room. I wanna talk about my carpenter. His name is Carlos Rojas, he's amazing. Uh, their company is called Carelli. He did this amazing barn door. This is another barn door that I saw on Pinterest, sent him the screenshot and said, hey, can you do it? And I'm telling you, it looks identical. He did an amazing job. One small thing to keep in mind. If you're doing a barn door, you need to have extra reinforcement for a door of this size and weight. We had to actually rip into the drywall because we forgot to do that. So we went in and we put some uh, metal studs and, and extra reinforcement for the store because it is solid wood and it is extremely heavy. And because you have to put it on rails up above, you need to have something to grab into and just grabbing into or you know, uh, having drywall there doesn't work. This is the, the boys' room. This is the Xbox room. It's small, it's cute. And this background here of rainforest is actually not a mural, but it is wallpaper. So this is something that we decided to do, which is also really different. And I thought, hey, why not? You can't tell it's wallpaper. You see a small little seam here, but wallpaper has really come a long way. And so I really think it's a great idea to use it in your home. Maybe not everywhere, but definitely in a few rooms for accent walls, etc. This room is basically made just so the kids can come in here, shut the door. I don't hear them. Um, they, have, they can have their friends in here. This is a pull-out sofa. So this kind of serves as an extra bedroom as well when we have friends, visitors over. So this is my older son, Kian's room. He is a huge, huge, huge Super Mario fan, if you couldn't tell. This mural was done by a couple from San Jose. I'm so impressed with this. I think this is everybody's favorite part of the house, actually. Everybody comments on, 
on how cool this is and then I tell them, no, it's a mural. Like it's not a sticker. Someone did this by hand. It's so amazing. And that was his choice. I said, what do you want painted on your wall? We're gonna make this custom to you. And he said, Super Mario. So there you do. Have it. Um, in this bedroom, the furniture in this bedroom was all made by my carpenter. So he did some really amazing work as well on the bed, the headboard, uh, the nightstands, just a really amazing job. The same company that did the interior doors, the kitchen and bathroom cabinetry and the closet systems is from Escazoo. They're called Opine Home and that's who did this built-in closet area as well. And then the bookshelf, um, I actually got from Crate and Barrel in San Jose because I was looking for something really specific and I was in a time crunch. So they had this in stock and I ordered it and they delivered to one Augusta. Actually, they deliver all over the country, so. This is um, Kian's bathroom. He actually was not supposed to get such a big bathroom with dual vanity, but we ended up blowing out the wall and he ended up getting, you know, an extra three feet. So we had enough room and we said, hey, why not do another um, vanity, so. So we talked about Ola Lola, Patricia Aguirre. She's an artist here in Costa Rica. I love her artwork, she's very whimsical. It's almost like a cartoon or you know caricature. Like, So I really like what she does. This is why we decided to order her prints online and then I shipped them here, which only cost me, I think $5. She shipped me about six different prints. I had those framed and I put them up in different rooms throughout the house. And these are some of my favorite pieces, of course. So this is my younger son's room, Elijah. I apologize for these LED lights that have fallen. He put them up for some reason. Um, he also has a really great built-in desk, huge desk, closets, and our um, carpenter made two bunk beds for the house. This is one of them. I thought he did an amazing job. The bunk beds have a step up, and so it's basically a twin over queen. My hometown is Buffalo, New York. Super proud of being a Buffalonian. So we thought, why not bring a little bit of Buffalo to Costa Rica? and the Buffalo Bills, so had to give a shout out. This was my son's idea. He wanted to have a shrine for Buffalo. We have the skyline. That also is a mural. It was painted by the same couple that did Super Mario in Kian's room. And I think they did an amazing job and it really just brought the city back to Central America. Uh, all of the bedrooms, by the way, have their own private bathrooms, full baths. So this is no exception. Elijah has his own bathroom this one is smaller than the other one but they're all pretty much the same in terms of finish okay so we have a laundry room this is actually a bigger laundry room that I'm used to having which is great uh, we got a washer and dryer in here from GE quartz countertops again we put up some shelving and of course this is also the PVC cabinetry down here below where we keep some chemicals and a little garbage can and of course I had to have some Ola Lola in the laundry room because you know you need artwork in the laundry room so we've arrived at the fourth bedroom. This is actually my office, but also serves as a true fourth bedroom here in the main house. Uh, we had this built-in piece put in also by Opine Home. Um, every room has connections for televisions as well. And I put my little desk in here. We also had another custom bunk bed made by Mark Carpenter, uh, just when visitors come, etc. We have an extra space for them as well. Wanted to talk about the light fixtures. I feel like light fixtures are so incredibly important when you're building a home. It it's just makes or break the character of the home. Most of the light fixtures are from outside of Costa Rica. Uh, the fans are Minka Air. The, that's the brand that we use for the most part. Solid wood and solid metal. These ones here are larger 65 inch and the rest of our fans are 52 inch. We also have fans on the terrace area which I think is helpful too if you're trying to avoid, you know, little flies and mosquitoes and whatnot. So this is just something that truly is important is the light fixtures in the home and also fans in every bedroom. So this is our walk-in closet. It's a little messy, but you can get an idea. This is also same company that did uh, all of our clothing, or excuse me, our closet furniture in our bathroom and kitchen cabinetry. So we're here in the master bedroom. This is uh, you know, obviously a space where I spend a lot of time. We did again Venetian plaster on the walls. We have travertine. We have travertine throughout. 
we basically have a really nice painting from Malu, also the same artist that helped us in the other parts of the house. And we opted to do really high ceilings, tray ceiling, teak, tongue and groove, and Minka Air fans. So I'm in my favorite part of the house, which is the master bathroom. We have a jacuzzi, which has ocean view, but my favorite area to be and what I use most is this indoor outdoor shower. The reason it's indoor outdoor is because we have a glass door that separates it from the outside. We did a palm roof. We left the window area open so you kind of feel like you're outside completely. It is open air. So, but we do have obviously a door as you see. And then of course you have beautiful views. I know some people talk about privacy, but I think the window's high enough that no one's really gonna be looking in on you. <laughs> and the views are obviously pretty incredible. But I really love the thatch roof. I really just love that part of the architecture. It just gives a feeling like you're in the middle of the jungle. Of course, in the master, we have dual vanity, quartz countertops, delta faucets, undermount sinks. We also have these really nice hanging pendant lights, which kind of match the outdoor shower hanging pendant light as well. So this is also the little toilet room here, which is separate from the master bath to give privacy. And we use Venetian plaster on the accent wall and we have this beautiful fish artwork that we bought in Cuba. So we're gonna be checking out the apartment. This is actually a separate studio apartment from the house. You can see it's actually right next to the master bedroom. It has its own private entrance that you can enter from the front side of the house down the walkway there. So that's the nice thing is that if you have guests, we don't rent this out. It's basically just for friends and family that are visiting. But it's nice because they don't have to go through your house and they can just come directly to the little apartment. We always had in mind to do something like this. When my mom or dad come to visit, friends and family, it's always good to give them their space, but you all can be together on the same property. Again, we used bigger fans, Minka Air, uh, we used furniture that this particular furniture I purchased in North Carolina as well. Uh, painting by Malu Moreira. Uh, this little corner sofa here and the side table is from Crate and Barrel. Uh, the rug is from Amazon. My carpenter made me this small teak little dining table, which I really love. And I got these chairs on Amazon. The apartment is really awesome. It's spacious. It has its own private terrace. It also has a really nice kitchen. It's a full kitchen. The only thing it doesn't have is an oven, but I don't think that too many people do baking in here, but you do have a toaster oven, so that kind of takes the place of that. Uh, it has a full-size fridge and basically functions just like the house, but just on a smaller scale. Uh, the bathroom's really lovely. It's a good size. Again, we use the Venetian plaster in here as well, as you can see. And there's a nice walk-in shower with travertine tile. I did also want to mention that the plumbing fixtures we purchased online, most everything we got on Amazon or HomeDepot.com and just shipped it down. You have a lot more variety online and honestly, it's not that big of a difference if you bring it down. You actually do save some money. And not to mention your time because you get to do everything from your desk in a matter of minutes. So. Uh, I found it just a lot easier to order those sort of things for the house and ship them down. We have a little bit more Ola Lola paintings, some of my favorite, Gallo Pinto and Puerto Viejo on the Caribbean coast. As you can see, the apartment has a magnificent ocean view. It has its own little private sitting area. We opted to do glass uh, railings as opposed to cables, which we did on the guest house. And the reason behind that is because with the glass, you don't lose any of the view. I mean, it's wide open. You see right through. You don't have any obstructions. Um, you know, there is a cost difference. It does cost more to do glass versus stainless steel cables with the teak railing that we had on, on our guest house. But I really, really love the end result. Thanks for joining me on another tips video and our last chapter of building with Becky. I really hope you enjoyed touring the property, learning a little bit about building in Costa Rica. I did, and I wanna thank especially my husband, Junior Cortez, who built this home and had a tremendous amount of patience over the last 17 months, despite little 
hurdles we had to jump over. I also want to thank Jose Pablo Acuna, my architect, as well as Jorge Escalante, who is our structural engineer. All of these people paid a huge role in getting this home done, which is hopefully our forever home. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me personally. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Pura vida.